Hello everybody. Today's video is about Apply, A-P-L-Y, and this is a YieldMax uh, ETF that tracks Apple stock, and we'll talk about that in a moment, but I wanted to cover some nuts and bolts of where I'm at. Um, I started uh, purchasing shares in the beginning of March when Apple stock was going down day after day, and you know some some people call it catching the falling knife. So I started to ease myself in because, you know, um, Apple, uh, it seems like it would be a good buy. Um, after five days of heading down, it would seem like it was a, a, a buying opportunity. So, of course, this is not financial advice because you can see that so far it hasn't worked out for me. Just a little bit, down $40.89 currently uh, total. Uh, but I got in uh, Apple at $17.78 is my average share cost. Today, it is pulling back a little more, and it is at $17.24. So I'm going to talk about Apple a little bit in this video and why I decided to jump in because I don't own any Apple products. I, I have a Samsung phone. I have a Samsung tablet. My TV is Samsung, you know, so um, I'm not completely a Samsung fanboy or an Android fanboy, but I own no Apple products. So, uh, but I would say that it's hard to argue that Apple is not one of the strongest companies mm, in the world, right? So let's talk about Apple a little more before we get into Apple and Apple is a again is a yield max fund and we'll just read the objective here is to seek exposure to the share price of the common stock of apple inc and you can see here in their holdings that they um you know basically track how the apple stock moves by uh placing call options um you know and basically when apple goes up Apple goes up and, and vice versa. Now, of course, again, this is not financial advice, but the downfall of Apple is, is that the upside is capped. So if Apple goes way up, Apple only goes up a little bit, but the downside is not capped. And so if Apple goes down a lot, Apple goes down a lot. So why would you get involved in something like this? Well, the answer is, is the dividend. And just picking one month, you can see that it paid 56 cents a share. And then it was down to 17 cents, and then it was back up to 41. But Apple did have some bigger payouts for 63 cents a share and 55 cents a share. So, you know, I'm in it for the dividend income because I'm an old retired person and I'm looking for money now. I'm not looking for growth. So, that's why I say this is not financial advice because I'm sure your situation will be different than mine. So back to the nuts and bolts. Uh, why did I jump into Apple uh, when I am not an Apple user? Well, I'll just tell you a quick story. Then it's I have a new girlfriend and we've been going out for about a year, and she is a completely into the Apple ecosystem. So she kind of opened my eyes to, um, you know, how powerful the whole Apple system is. And, you know, she has an iPhone and she has a MacBook and she has a, uh, she has AirPods and she has, um, you know, all of the Apple products. What, what's the uh, tablet called? Um, I, I guess it's an iPad, right? So... She comes over to my house, she jumps behind my PC and she says, oh, this is awful. I mean, you know, the Windows is horrible. How could you stand this? So uh, just to make a long story short, uh, you know, me and my girlfriend, it's a problem for us. She lives in Apple's world and I live in um, Android world. So hopefully we, we're going to get past this issue or one of us will convert. I guess it'll have to be me. But um, I decided to, uh, you know, reconsider my outlook on Apple. So let's just look at some news stories about uh, what things looked like when I started buying the stock. This, this was uh, back in March, uh, March 5th. And it says, 
you know, it, Apple stock is in a funk and Warren Buffett was selling. And when, when we started to look into this, you know, Warren Buffett's, it, it's his largest position and he was just rebalancing, right? Well, then about a week later, they said, well, you know what? He did a little more than rebalance, right? Uh, but it's still his uh, largest position, but he did get rid of a bunch of shares. And when people see this happening, the stock continues in a downward trend. So then, um, you know, it, it, a lot of articles started coming out and they started talking about, um, you know, a key level of 170. So this is when I started to jump in because I figure here, let me jump over here to this, that Apple is the, you know, second largest company in the world. It used to be the first, but Microsoft this year knocked them off the throne. And, but Apple is still second. And it's hard to, for me to say that Apple is done, right? You, you can find a lot of articles that say Apple is finished, right? It'll never come back. It doesn't innovate anymore, right? Well, who's to say that they won't innovate again in the future? But I would say looking at my girlfriend's example, the customers that they already have are customers for life. And they buy every single product that they launch, right? So I don't think Apple is going to go anywhere soon. However, NVIDIA is right on their tail. And there's a good chance that Apple will fall to number three sooner this than later, probably this year. So we'll have to see what happens. But if you could see the ramblings of a madman, which is me, and why I decided to go ahead and get in on that stock. so. I see a couple of more recent headlines that um, let me let me hit this one first. Apple is finally starting to drop the word AI, which is always good for a company. And, you know, they abandoned they were going to make a car and they decided not to do that. So now they're taking those resources and they're putting it into an AI division and they bought a company with employees to go ahead and push that venture ahead. But we'll see, you know, Apple is very quiet about the things they do, whereas other companies are very boisterous about everything that they do. So in Tesla's case, you know, he, uh, Elon Musk is constantly telling us what's going on, bad or good. And Apple is more quiet, and then they come out with these big releases. So hopefully there's good news around the corner for Apple. The other thing is, is that they're in talks with Google um, about, um, you know, using Google's already established AI and integrating it into the iPhone. So that, that could be interesting, but I want to point out the main point here is uh, if a Google deal comes to fruition. So there's a big uh, two-letter word there is if, right? So there is definitely nothing set in stone. And the reason that I got jumped in on the Apple stock is that I thought it would be a good opportunity to buy at the low and see what happens. And I think that maybe a year from now that I will consider this a good investment, but only time will tell. And I hope that, um, you know, if you're interested in Apple, that you'll do your own research because I'm just a retired car mechanic that's pretty much playing around with the stock market. And this is my hobby account. So thanks for watching today, and I hope that you uh, could give me a thumbs up on the video. It would really help, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you very much.